First, I would like to thank the greatest father of all, God, our Lord, and our Savior, and happy Father's Day to the fathers who took the roles that God called you for. Sarah, what would you like to say?
forget you said hey. Okay? Everybody gets it?
Et pas oublier, si il y a des gens qui ont 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 des Even you know you can't sing as on you know. If we did, you know, as long as you can sing, if you can sing, we can walk with that voice. You know, we just want you to show up and want to be silent and you quiet in the church. Uh, we don't want you to feel like all this stuff. But my family declared to me, Si you don't get what? 53 ans, mon n'a rien de pivot toujours. Alors, ça n'est pas une différence dans la chanté. En plus, mon n'a rien de différence dans la chanté, il y a même un petit génie, mais ça n'a pas de génie. C'est ça, on s'en doute là. Si on regarde les courants, j'ai un américain qui a 55 ans, il a monté le même hôtel, tout le monde l'a donné. Il a dit, on peut chanter, 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 on peut chanter. Bon, si vous tous les venir même on va pas passer en dehors même là, il est juste venu là. Voilà, mais les gens de Lyon. C'est ça, bon. So, we want you to come uh, tonight. Uh, we will not talk to us uh, the way we will not go. The choir, we have Creole. The choir, we have some English, some uh, English and Creole. And what I mean by that? I bien chanté anglais, I bien chanté Creole. One thing you got to understand, when I learn the English, or people get that they are, but in the chorus, I was saying, when when it comes to singing, it's different than speaking. The reason why? The reason why? Singing is something that you keep learning every day. The same thing over and over and over. You you don't even have to speak English. I bet you will not sing English. You understand? You might not know what you're saying, but you will you will sing. What about that? You will sing. You hear the same, but you're gonna be able to sing because it's something you hear every day. You look up here every day. So if I get different, so I'm gonna be like, "I'm so inspired." You're too tired, you're not ready. You're not the one. They will say, "Up, dear." You're not ready. You're not Chinese. You're not Chinese. I say, "You're not the one." So you got to understand the that. Back in the old days, it scared you if you wanna come for you to stop. So we want to do a very good choir in this church. So we're waiting for you this afternoon. Please show up. Five o'clock. At five. Please show up. Um, Son Jackie, he is disposed to be a massive orphan. He is not going to be a good person. He is not going to be a good person. He is not going to be a good person. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong.
make arrangements to go down to Haiti to funeral that would be there for mom and the family. And I told him, uh, the Lord, I said, well, I'm going to do something special for your mother when she get back. The mom would come back. She got a two, um, uh, uh, a two slow house, a uh, two family house, I would say. And uh, the people now says he's that right, so I guess mom said, I'm getting tired of this here. And she got rid of them, and she moved downstairs. So they got a family house going together. And I asked mom, I said, you know, mom, it would it be okay if I plant uh, six um, uh, 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 plants of, uh, of uh, tomatoes? And, and Mama said, yes, yes, I had to have it in church. It was a sweet cream. And after planting the tomatoes, two weeks later, the tomatoes take the ground. And they grow already. So I said to Mama, I, 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 to a friend, to an interpreter, I said, to ask Mama, would she like me to build her fence? And she said, yes. So I was able to build a fence for mom. And I told her, no charge of doing this in honor of your husband, you know, because he he put away. And you know, when a woman is married for 30, 40 years, I see him as my own mother. And when a husband goes to glory, there's a different level of grieving that she goes through that most of us today, our relationship don't work. We cut out in two weeks. <laughs> and they're staying in journey. 40, 50 years, that there's a, 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 a physical grieving and then there's a psychological grieving. Now, doing a physical grieving, which is a fruitful moment where the family come together and, uh, and funeral and things of that nature, everybody come back home and eat and go out their way. But then there's a mental grieving also when she gets a little vulnerable because of the journey of my husband. We grow into one another. That's the only mathematic uh, order of that. Uh, God is the only one that can make two more. See, we can't, I don't care what level of mathematics you use, you can't make two one. But God can make two one. You see, he's the only one that, that, can, can, that, that can, 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 can rearrange that. And even the scientists can't figure it out. Because anything they learn is from who? God. <laughs> no matter how they learn it. No matter how long you study it, you can be 30 years out there. Yes, I study it. It still ain't about you, it's about who? God. All right. So we balance that order on that right there. And when a woman is uh, uh, married for that long, it's a, two, uh, 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 a second level of reading she goes through. It's a mental reading that if God don't send someone in there, she may lean on somebody that could uh, ultimately take her money. Hello? Can also be asked for money and ask for things because you get a little money with that. But then God will sometimes send someone in, there, a relative, a friend, and say, Mama, uh, let's do this and do that. And that really becomes a new day for her because she got someone she can depend on that's not going to go into a pocket. You understand? <laughs> you know, so uh, I was able to work with her and build this fence which she loved and give her a new spirit. Give her a new spirit so she sent her son down to uh, Haiti. And he got, she kept telling me she's waiting on these seeds. And I didn't know what the seeds were they were. Maybe you can help me with it. They were olive seeds. Did anyone know what olive is? Olive. I have never heard of olive. What, how do you say it? Olive. 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 It's, it's a vegetable. Yes, it's a vegetable seed. And, and you, you, you somehow put it in water and it grows and then you put it all out. Well, just to show that it's so important to bridge the new with the old, her nephew, uh, which is, you see him on YouTube, I call him David, the Haitian American cultivator. He, she said, my nephew, do an interpret, is coming in a few days to help me. I said, okay, he's going to plant the lot with me. I said, okay, he's going to plant the lot with me. Now, my tomatoes is growing as it is, right? But now, the nephew came, and as I'm putting the fence up, and he helped me. And uh, I noticed the nephew start taking his pants off. So I didn't know what behavior that he was using. He took his pants off and he took his shoes off and just had shorts on. A basketball shirt, put him under the bed. Basketball shirt. Right? And he worked in the field with this uh, cultivator, which I had never seen. And the cultivator stick was so different than I'm used to. I'm used to a stick that's made in a factory. 
His stick come from the tree. So when I asked, I said, well, where did your stick come from? Through an interpreter, because he don't speak much English, David. And he kept going to the tree. So he picked a stick. <laughs> yeah, from the tree. So the stick was angled in a way. And he moved like a machine and cultivated the whole thing. And I had a pile of dirt up that I had dug because I had uh, the, the church I had to to build a fence. And I had no idea how I was going to get rid of that dirt. Well, who in Irvington am I going to call to take the dirt? <laughs> and he took the dirt and fed it to the ground. Fed it to the ground, mixed it in, and this, that, and other. And it became one. It became one. And it was such a beautiful sight and everything. So I recorded it on that camera and everything. I put it on, on uh, YouTube and everything. And I said, you know, this right here is something great that we bridge the old with the new. Not the curse of the old, because that's for the journey that we're coming from, but also honoring the old and showing homage and respect for the new. And I think that that's what we need to do here today. We got to honor the old, which was the ones that brought us up that hill, and then mix it together and become one family. Amen? Amen. Today, my text is really uh, centered on happiness is for you. Happiness is for the young. We need to know because, again, just like those seeds, you are the seeds from us. You must keep this church going and you must keep things moving on. Now, uh, a lot of the young today has to understand that what we're asking of you is a journey. And that journey is to help us. A lot of us have risen or we've got cars, we've got houses, and we've got this thing. Yes, but what is your job? Your job is what? Go to school, is that right? And don't just say yes when you say yes, but really, do you mean yes? The way you express yourself to the young people in that song that you just did, which was a good song, do you express yourself in education that way? Are you serious about helping us that come from ancient Egypt? Are you serious? Are you serious about, about passing as we pass the baton to you? Can, will we ever be able to lean on you? Yes! That's the message today. Can we lean on the young? And I think that that's the message that's all through the United States of America that we somehow have gotten off of the responsibility of the young. That we raise you so one day what? We got to lean on you to help us. Mama now is old and frail. Her journey was to bring five to six kids to the United States. Daddy was old and frail. His journey was to bring six or seven kids to the United States. But now, as Daddy go home to glory, Mama is worried. She needs you to lean on her. Are you going to be that foundation? Or will you exit from that pillar of strength? Will you exit? Will you be a coward and walk the other way? And get caught up trying to be more of a star than you are? You know, we all are some kind of star in our own, you know, they used to say, if you want to be in my show, you got to be a star, baby. That was a song in America years ago, you know. So we all are our own star in some way. Will you be that supportive being for us? Are we raising you or to just be out there. You must ask yourself this right here. So it's very important of what's going on uh, with the youth. I um, was on a few weeks ago to uh, be at the airport and uh, talking with a lot of Haitian Americans. I, I, I say Haitian American. I hope I'm not offending you in saying that. Because sometimes I notice this right here. I'm going to say it directly. When it comes to black people, you don't know how to talk to them. <laughs> you don't know what to say. Because you say this in it. Because they, you know, they all human emotion with each other. Mad. Mm -hmm. Crazy. All kinds of faces and everything. You don't know where they're at. But anybody else can say anything they want to say. Don't cut off. They don't say nothing. But when you say something, no matter how big you are, they look like they got a fist. Wait. They wait. Okay, say the wrong thing. Boom, I can talk to you. One of you, I, I, I say this here, that we have to come to conscious because, you know, 
there's a lot of jobs right here where we're at. And I say this to the young, don't be afraid to go out to that airport and ask these people for an application or go on the internet and get one. Don't be afraid here to go to New Jersey Transit and try to become a bus driver. Don't be afraid also to put an application in and become a police officer. Don't be afraid, you know we got to go there. It's a new day. It's a new day. Don't be afraid also, as many people today are interested in the nation of people. Don't be afraid also to become a paid interpreter or someone that can help someone learn Creole. Don't be afraid to do it. You have already Creole said We can use this computer to help you to help them. It's a job. Don't be afraid, do you understand? We got to change the game. The landing is different now. The takeoff is different. We're going to another planet. And we got to land with stability. Don't be afraid because our Lord and Savior was afraid. And don't be afraid to be humble. When Jesus came, you know God could have brought him as a grown man. But he didn't. Huh? God could have brought him without human emotion. But he didn't. God brought him just like you, with a mama and a daddy. Huh? God brought him just like you to have human emotions so what? So you can see it and you can aspire to it. You will never be Jesus, but you got a chance to aspire to be the next Moses. Is there any Moses in here? That Moses today can be a man or a woman. It's not limited to that. Is there, are there any Moses in here that's ready to go back and help his fellow man or fellow woman? Are there any among you that ready to stand up and change the order? And that's what God wants to do. You know, too many times we get happy in just small things because we feel like we all or, or can't jump over that mountain. As I told the young man this morning, I said, you know, happy Father's Day for you. And I said, you know, sometimes you act like you're the only one that walking around that mountain. But I'm here to tell you the power of God that I'm walking around that mountain. And guess what? I got around and guess what I found? The 